So today I thought I'd make a really quick video to show how to make um, to mate um, hard line to your basic AN style fittings. This is a Earl's um, Anno Tough um, hose end, um, and these are the components that we're going to use to do that. So for starters, so the challenge is, you know, how do you how do you make a hard line like this um, copper? Uh, nickel plated or uh, yeah nickel copper alloy line which I like using because it's soft and easy to work with um, this happens to be a 3 8 line so I just cut this little piece off um, and I already uh, flared this end but we're gonna do this end just for demonstration purposes so um, the first thing you got to do is remember so here are the components so this is called a, uh, a sleeve uh, and this just slips over the line like that but before that goes on this is called a tube nut um, so this component goes on first um, this component goes on second and now the only thing that's missing here is a 37 degree flare uh, which will mate with this cone so this is a dash six to dash six um, a in male union okay so what I have here is a rigid it's model number 377, 37 degree uh, flaring tool. And it's super easy to use. Um, it's actually simpler to use than your regular double flaring tool because this is just going to be a single flare. So if you're working with a line that's already attached to something, you got to remember to slip on the nut and the sleeve first. Okay? Then this uh, hard line simply just goes in here and you want to make sure that it's going to be flush with the top of the tool. So I just use this little, this is a actually a McLeod release for, for F-body slaves, but I just push that down till that copper line is level with the top. Okay. Then you slide this um, the upper part of this um, tool over and you start cranking on it. Actually you lock it in place first it has notches here on, along the sides, so you, so you find the one for your line, and this simultaneously clamps the tube in place, and it keeps the tube uh, from moving um, as you're flaring it. So this tool is kind of neat because it has uh, what they call a, I forget what they call it exactly, but like a torque breakaway feature, and that's and essentially if you um, uh, you can't over tighten this thing and I'll show you what I mean. So you just start tightening it by hand and as you're as it's getting tighter you see this the, the nut the this handle is actually starting to separate from the main shaft and as you go down farther eventually it breaks away okay so that's as tight as it needs to go then it locks back in place and you can take it off so we get that off there we loosen this and we just slide it back down open this clamp up and here you can see a very nice proper 37 degree the same angle as this fitting so it mates very nicely together so what the tube nut does or the sleeve it gives that strength and it gives a collar for the nut to hold on to so this just slips right in there Oops. this screws down I promise I can do this there we go. So now that's all put together. Uh, so you could crank this down, and now your hard line is ready to mate with any flexible line that you might make. So this is just an end. There's no hose on here because it's not assembled, and this would just mate together. And you're done. Thanks for watching.